again, I'd like to welcome everybody out. I thank everybody for coming out. Uh, we'd like to give once again, because we're at uh, one of the finest places for consciousness there is, and that's Java. So we want to give Miss Tony a round of applause. I just say, without her, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because she, uh, this is one of the spots where everybody, um, I'm not gonna say you started consciousness in, but I'm gonna say this is one of the places that help you elevate. And any place that help you elevate, you always gotta, you know, give some homage to that because that's, those are the places that we need to, you know, pay attention to at all times, you know. Oh, um, I'm gonna be real with y'all tonight. Tonight, I uh, I gotta do a lecture on this subject mainly because I'm tired of I'm tired of hearing certain things that I've been getting. Uh, basically, what happened was it's a lot of information being put out here in the streets now about masonry, about uh, the truth, about symbols and signs, a lot of this information being pushed, but I believe it's being pushed almost purposely. And it's been pushed uh, to a level where it's, it's almost like um, this stuff getting pushed out here like, how, how can I put this? It's, it's getting pushed out here the wrong way. It's getting pushed and just shoved out here. Like bam, bam, like bam, in your purpose. face. Yeah, like it's going, and, and it's like, you know, come on, man. You know, they, they putting it out here, but they not giving you any explanations behind nothing. Um, and one thing that I, uh, consciousness allowed me to do is to be able to explore things and not just lump things in one group. When you lump things in one group, you limit yourself. You limit the, the ability of the thing to work. You know, um, that could be a lamp right there, but... I see it as a decoration. Man, it's a decoration. All right? But if it's just used as a decoration, then that means what? That you disallowed the lamp. You disallowed the power to work. You disallowed it for anything else. You just put it out there like, this is what I'm going to do. And this is, what's, you know, this is what's up. But you don't put information out without giving proper explanation to what you're giving out. So we gotta we gotta understand and um I, I'm just gonna keep it real. <laughs> Everything has been given out about this past week. I mean the past well I'm gonna say the last couple of months. Last couple of months uh this information has been given out. It's good that it's is out here in the streets because it's it's circulating the minds. It's making the minds think. But one thing that I see that is very important, everybody is going to have to cover themselves now because you being undressed is what's happening. So if you're in consciousness, you being undressed now. This is your undressing process. People are undressing you and they're trying to find out what you're really all about. So this is what this is all about. So. You can't be out here half at it. You gotta be out here truthful at it. You gotta be out here a true student at it. You gotta be out here really searching knowledge and really wet and, and always ready to elevate. You know what I'm saying? Some people just, they get a little bit of knowledge and just sit on it. That's not, that's not what you do. You gotta always be ready to elevate and you gotta always be ready to do one thing and, uh, we, and I'm jumping ahead of myself, but one of the laws of our bodies, because you dealing with a, a, a now what we're dealing with is a what is called a chaos realm. One of the main laws of chaos is to do what? Yeah. To always change. Always change. And always know that change is going to happen. Change is going to happen no matter what. You're not gonna stay in the same position at all times, so you gotta always change. You can't get on one thing and think you know everything. And you can't get on 
one thing and be like, uh, this all, this all there is to know. Once you get into this, uh, this realm, you got to understand that I know something today, but 10 years from now, what might happen? You might learn a whole lot of more information about that same thing that you were looking at. And that's what I'm telling you tonight. The information that I give you tonight is not because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm through studying it. <laughs> this is the information that I'm giving you right now. So, some people may look at things and say, man, you said this on this tape, but now you said this later on. That's because what? You learn more as you go. You learn as you go. You don't stay at one level about something. You might give you what I know for right now, but later on, I want to jump into a, a, a higher realm of that same knowledge. But uh, we've been given a lot of knowledge about signs and symbols. And the biggest symbol that we've been given been the symbol called the Baphomet. The symbol called the Baphomet. And if you look on your papers, uh, you'll see this symbol. This symbol is called the Baphomet. And you spell that. Uh, it should be on. Is it somewhere on that paper? No, B A P H. B A P H. Hold on, B A P H O. M E T. M E T. That's how you spell it. Uh, so you want to put that, uh, have that circle. It's gonna be on your paper. Pay attention to that picture because we're gonna be talking about this picture all night. Uh, we're gonna be talking about something about this picture. We're gonna be talking about where is it headed. This is one of the symbols that they equate to devil worship. Now, being in consciousness, being where I'm at right now, being at the level I'm at to pay attention to different things, I got to say one thing because I see a lot of the elite people paying homage to this symbol. I see... Uh, Different celebrities pay homage to the symbol. And these people are on an elite level, which means that they got so much knowledge that has been hidden away. Been hidden away. They're, they're only elite because they got knowledge that has been hidden from the masses of the people. Now, I'm going to say some things tonight that the conscious community is even going to have to wake up. We're going to have to do better because we're going to have to go to another realm. We've been at one level, now it's time to go to another realm. But you have to pay attention to certain things. I said, we're going to pay attention to this. I said, now, these elite people gave us a false doctrine called the Bible. False doctrine. And what I mean by false doctrine, I'm talking about not necessarily the principles of it, but I'm talking about a false doctrine as far as in who did what and how they did it, it's been a false doctrine. Now they give us a Bible full of false people, false evidence of false information or misinformation. They give us a Bible with a God that we look to and we pray to that we never hear back from. They give us a, they give us this and they give us this religion and Pump it and pump it and pump it into your head and pump it and pump it. Now I said, with common sense to tell you, if he gave you a, a religion where a God that don't exist, why he gonna turn around and worship a devil that don't exist? Think about that. Why he gonna turn around and worship a devil that does not exist? So it led me to this picture because I said, if they assimilate this picture to devil worship and satanic worship, I said, let's look at it further. Because I said, why he gonna uh, gonna put out a, 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 an existence about a, a, a God that don't exist, but turn around and worship a devil that don't exist? That don't make sense. I mean, do that make sense to y'all? It don't make common sense. So why would you put this out there? You gonna, you know, you put one thing out there. You gotta put, you gotta put two and two together. Uh, so, make sure they got one of my hand up. Make sure they got one. Okay. Oh. Uh, so I said. So I said to myself, you're gonna turn around, give us one thing, but turn around and worship daughter. That don't make sense. You're gonna turn around and worship Satan. 
but you don't believe in Satan yourself. So I said, we, we're going to explore this Satan that he's talking about worshiping. You know what I'm saying? I got to explore it. And for the last, really, couple of years, that's what I've been into. Been into studying what it is about this Satan. What, what is Satan? What is satanic? What is the satanic <coughs> worship? What is all of that? Been into that last couple of years. So I've been studying that realm. The, the dog realms of science, the cult realm. I've been studying this thing. And it led me to understand it's bigger mysteries out here. It's bigger mysteries than the mysteries that we've been led to. And one of the big mysteries um, that they give you is this thing that all the stars in Hollywood, all of the, uh, <laughs> the, the elite corporate officials, all the elite officials of the United States and all that, and of other countries, pay homage to this symbol. Now think about that. Let's think about it for a minute. Let's pay attention to that symbol that y'all looking at. This symbol called the Baphomet. Now, in this symbol, if you pay attention to it, I had looked at it real carefully and started studying on it. This symbol was brought to us, and I did some information on it, got some information on it, and uh, like I say, more information I'm going to get into. We're going to get into some of it tonight. But uh, in this symbol, you got, uh, this symbol was given to us around, uh, in this form, the form that you see it right now, in around 1854 was the time that this symbol was, was given to us that particular symbol. Now you had this symbol around for years before, years and years before that. But what happened was it was an uh, occult scientist, an occult scientist by the name of Eliphas, and if y'all want to write this down, Eliphas Levi, Eliphas Levi, E L I P H A S. <coughs> Levi, he was born as Alfonso Lewis Constant, and what he did was he looked up the, the, the I guess, esoteric meaning in the Hebrew language to his particular name, and after what he did was, he was so he started going by Elifus Levi, um, and this guy was real interested in occult science. He, he um, got in the highest degrees of masonry, got all into the, um, he, he was, in so many words, the inspiration to what is known now as the satanic church. The satanic church. Now, like I said, these elite folk go to this, this, this sermon. They go to the, the, the satanic synagogues. Now you gotta realize now they not going here to worship no devil that don't exist. Gotta think about that now. They not just going here just to, oh man, we know we're gonna leave God and leave a fake God and go to a, a fake devil. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, you we gotta we gotta put two and two together. Put two and together. You're gonna leave a fake God and go to a fake devil. No, that that's not what they do. So what they did was they took all the esoteric knowledge that they had, all the knowledge that you got, science out of Egypt, all of that science that you got esoteric all around the world, really, not just Egypt, but all around the world, they took all the esoteric knowledge out of the Hindu religions, out of every religion, they took every all the esoteric meanings out of things, and they wrapped it up in a religious a cult called the Satanic Church. Now you gotta pay attention to this because you're you saying, man, you know, this is some some stuff. You know, this is how, you know, they wrapping this stuff up in it. You know what I'm saying? That's some, some real trippy stuff. You know what I'm saying? They <clears throat> wrapped it up, a lot of it, in the picture that you see before you. So when they looking at this picture, they're not looking at what you're seeing. They're not looking at uh, a goblin type figure. What this is, 
is a mathematic equation. It's an equation. They're looking at it in front of you. But how they did it in an esoteric way, in an esoteric form, was uh, when he went, when uh, life was and all, they went to the witches, the, uh, the, uh, the sabbatic witches, the, you know, they call themselves the sabbatic witches. These are women that are deep into sorcery, deep into uh, higher realms of knowledge, higher realms of uh, occult science. When these, good to see you in the house tonight. Y'all come on around this way. I got to uh, make sure they see in the hand now too. Make sure they see in the hand now. Thank y'all for coming out too. I, uh, but, uh, so what they did was they put all of the all of the science into this mathematical equation. This is an equation that you're looking at. And not only is it an equation that you're looking at, a lot of these keys are keys to this whole world that you see. These are keys to running the world that you know of. These are keys in that picture. And you say, how, why did they do this? Because when, they, uh, when, when we looked at uh, life, was like I say, you talk to the witches, the women that was in sorcery, and the women said, we've always done this. We put these goblins on outside of temples. Why? Because the average person would be too scared to walk in. People without the knowledge of what they're looking at would be too scared to look at it. There's a lot of people running around here today too scared of the knowledge that they're looking at. A lot of people today too scared to look at, to go into another realm of knowledge because what? They seeing this picture. They see this goblin, they see this ghost, they see this devil, and they're too scared of the knowledge. Once you undress your mind that there is such thing as Satan or there is such thing as a devil, then you will be able to go to the next realm of knowledge. You'll be able to get all of your knowledge back out of it. I got something down here. I'm going to try to find it in a few minutes. Where it talks, it talks specifically about the Kabbalah. And, uh, Anybody who hadn't heard about the Kabbalah in here, most of the people in here haven't heard about Kabbalah. But just for the camera's sake, Kabbalah basically is like the, the deeper realms of esoteric knowledge. Kabbalah is, uh, once you study Kabbalah, you're supposed to be really on the, the path to creating different worlds or creating different environments. <coughs> Once you really study Kabbalah, you can do whatever you want to do. What am I saying tonight, though? I'm saying tonight that we've been misled. That some of the people that we say don't know no better, or the artists, all of these elite officials and people that we say are not in the know, they are very much in the know. In fact, they getting information that you're not getting. And you conscious. Stars on TV getting information that you're not getting. I'm talking about your TV stars, your celebrity people, the people that hold up the bottom symbol. When they do that, they showing you something. That's the reason why they don't care about what you say about them. They don't care about you say that Oh, they worship the devil. They sold out. They don't care. They do not care. <coughs> Why? Because they know they are getting something that you are not getting. They are getting esoteric knowledge just by meditating on that picture every day. Now, you got to pay attention to what they're doing. This is some key stuff. Some, man, some stuff that I looked at it. Like I say, when I, when I look at it, I trip, you know, because, you know, I'm looking at it like, you know, what is this they really looking at? Is this just a picture that you're looking at? Or, you know, what is it? But this thing is an equation. <clears throat> uh, first of all, I want to show you that this represents the four um, laws of the universe. It represents the four laws of this planet. Earth, wind, fire, air. I mean, earth, wind, fire, 
and what water. Show you how it's represented that. In the wings, when you look at the wings, the wings of the Baphomet represent the air. It's sitting on what? What is it sitting on? Earth. That's the earth. <laughs> That's the plant. And just to give you another view of the atmosphere around the stomach, you see a semicircle right there, right? That's a view of the atmosphere. That is the, 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 the earth. Uh, when you look at the skin, very scaly, that represents the water. When you look at the skin on it, it's a scale. It's a scaly skin, so it represents water. Uh, fire. Look at the head piece real carefully and look at the top of it. That's a torch. That's a torch in the middle of the stem. You see that? Y'all see that? That's a, that's a torch in the middle of that stem holding the fire. And that fire is for universe. It's also called universal intelligence. Universal balance. Y'all write that down because this, this is some heavy stuff. It, it'll trip you out. Um, it got one... Uh, it has it, it, is dealing with uh, one female arm and one male arm, uh, showing you the principles of the Elohim. These are the principles of the male and female joined together. Also has breast, showing you the principles of the female or the mother, Earth. So you are paying attention to that. This is uh, some stuff to pay attention to. Uh, also. If you look on one arm, it says the word solve. And the other arm, it says the word kogula. 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 That's what they say. You got know, reading that? You got know, peeping that out? Okay. That's basically dealing with.